But first this hour, UEFA are investigating an alleged gesture made by England's hero last night, Jude Bellingham, after his dramatic equaliser against Slovakia. England won the game in extra time to progress to the quarterfinals, but they now face the possibility of seeing Bellingham either suspended or fined for his actions. Our chief reporter, Carve Sorokol, has the full story. And the case he has to answer uh, is regarding a potential breach of the basic rules of decent conduct. Now, what happened, I'm sure a lot of people have seen it on social media today, is that after Jude Bellingham uh, scored that incredible late, late goal, uh, he appeared to gesture using his hand uh, towards his crotch. Now, UEFA have said this afternoon that their ethics and disciplinary inspector will carry out a disciplinary investigation regarding a potential violation of basic rules of decent conduct. And information uh, in this matter will be made available in due course. Now, pretty soon after the game last night, uh, Jude Bellingham took to social media and on X, uh, he said that the gesture was an inside joke and it was aimed towards some of his close friends who were in the stadium. And he also said nothing but respect for how that Slovakia side have played tonight. Uh, obviously, a lot of people have been looking at the social media footage today. And in that footage, I think you can see after Bellingham has scored, he's walking back towards the centre circle with Harry Kane. And he appears to look to his right. He appears to touch his face. And then he appears to make this offensive gesture. Now, I suppose what England fans will be asking this evening is what is going to happen to Jude Bellingham. Potentially, could he be facing a suspension? Might he not be able to play against Switzerland on Saturday? My understanding of the situation is that although potentially a player can be banned and suspended and fined for making such a gesture, it is much, much more likely that you will get a fine and there will be no ban and no suspension. Also, these investigations can take quite a while. So it is not a given that any investigation would be completed before the game against Switzerland. And it's not a given that the investigation would be completed uh, before the end of this tournament.